Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Time and Tarot. This is Tanya. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cross watchers, you're always welcome here. Good afternoon, Divine Time and Tarot family. I love you guys. I thank you and I truly appreciate you. If you guys are wanting a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. Welcome, welcome, welcome new subscribers, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for donations. Thank you for reaching out for personal readings. I, I, I feel truly blessed. I really do, guys. I feel truly blessed. Here doing a general reading for Aquarius, okay? This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the third week of May, 2021. Ooh, Aquarius. Oh, wow. Those came out. I was just shuffling. And some cards just flew out. So I'm going to um, I'm gonna talk about those for a minute here. But um, Aquarius. Ooh, okay. You got the Ace of Pentacles here. You, you start out, you getting, universe is giving you a gift here in abundance. You're possibly moving. You're starting something new here. Because something has been at a standstill for you and you're turning your back on something. You're waiting. You're waiting for your ships to come in. It looks like your ships are coming in, Aquarius. Yes. Um, your overall energies is it's time to take action on something. Some of you guys, before I forget, could be dealing with a Sagittarius here. Because I get a lot of fire. I get a lot of um um passion you got a lot of passion for somebody conclusions are within reach conclusions are within reach and it's time to take action on something and at the bottom of the deck we have a fiery climax approaches aries and aries so something could be going going to be going on in um could be in the winter time in Sagittarius season is what I'm hearing too. You got Aries here twice. Y'all could y'all could definitely be dealing with a fire sign. I'm just saying, you know. Anyway, um, the cards that fell out here is the Page of Pentacles. You're wanting to start something new, or maybe you have started something new with somebody. But the, with the star in the reverse, you don't have hope. There's no hope. Somebody needs to heal here. There's no balance. It's, it's, and that's why you're feeling mentally stuck. This is definitely your energy, Aquarius. You're feeling stuck. But you want to start something new, but you don't have hope in it. And then we have the devil here. Somebody here has addiction. Something is toxic here. Something is definitely toxic here. Aquarius. So let's put these back. Okay, let's put these back. And I will shuffle again. But I want to get an overall energy here for it's time to take action. So it's time for you to move on something. Um you hmm. Give me some more overall energies for Aquarius, guys, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Give me some more overall energies for Aquarius. More overall energies for Aquarius. Um, yeah. Looks like you want to reunite with somebody. Or maybe you're out doing a lot of celebrating with your friends or something. Because we got the three of cups just done popped out. Shoot, look like you having a good time with somebody. Are you in a third party type situation here? Yeah. Uh-huh. The Wheel of Fortune. We got the Queen of Wands. So, yeah, you're very passionate about something or somebody. You want to reunite with this person? Or you could be in a third party, what I'm looking like, too. You could be just having a whole lot of fun. But... I'm going to say you're wanting to reunite with somebody that you got a lot of passion for. Because the fiery climax approaches, conclusions are within reach, and it's time to take action. You're moving towards somebody. You want to reunite with somebody. And guess what? 
Aquarius, something is destined here. With the Wheel of Fortune, something is going to go in your favor. So just chill out. Just chill out and wait. Something. Yeah, you want to collaborate with somebody. Could You could be wanting to collaborate with somebody at your job, too. I'm just saying. Yeah, it looks like you've ended a cycle with the World card. Looks like you've ended a cycle here or ended something with somebody. Could be a Scorpio. Yeah, something in, has ended. We got the death card here. But it also represents rebirth. This also represents rebirth. You're moving forward. It looks like you're determined to move forward. Or some of you guys could have gotten a new vehicle. Some of you guys could have gotten a new vehicle. But here's that page of pentacles again. You want to uh, make an offer to somebody. Or maybe you getting, or maybe you guys are getting a new job. I don't know. I didn't know. But let's get some more information out here for Aquarius. Yeah, it looks like you're going to get victory in something too. I think you're getting a lot of attention. Or you want some attention from somebody. Maybe a water sign. Maybe somebody you walked away from. Or maybe somebody, um, either you walked away or they walked away, but you want some attention from somebody here. Let's get some, let's put it down. Let's put it down. Yeah, look at this. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Sagittarius, okay? Because some of the cards that, that you have, Sagittarius had too. So some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Sag. Or somebody you got a lot of passion with, okay? Give me some more cards for Aquarius. Yep, you want to reunite with somebody quickly, too. Yep, you want a second chance here. You want a second chance. This Eight of Wands, this is something, this is, you taking action. You're about to take action on something here. Something that you're very passionate about. Um, two of Swords, you're very indecisive, Aquarius. Come out of that. Come, Don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. You you thinking about a water sign here, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio that you're possibly wanting to reunite with. We have temperance here. You're trying to get yourself balanced here, but there's something toxic here. I don't know if you're going through something. I don't know, but there's something toxic about this situation. Look, you got the pay, you got the Ace of Pentacles again. You got money coming in, yeah, or you holding on to your money. You probably holding on to somebody too. Ooh, the seven of swords. What is this about? That you remember earlier, some of y'all is in a third party. Some of y'all being sneaky. Some of y'all being sneaky, or you're dealing with somebody that's sneaky and got you in a third party here. Because this is right next to the three of cups. And you had the three of cups earlier. Mm-hmm. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody that got you in a third party. So you better uh you better um um uh, check it out. You better check it out. Somebody really sneaky around y'all. Well, this could be you, Aquarius. <laughs> this could be you. And then you got this Eight of Wands. Yeah. You're taking action on something. You want to communicate too quickly with somebody. Let's get some clarification going on here. Because I'm nosy and you. I know y'all want to know too. Yeah, you want to apologize about something to somebody. That flipped over. You've got some clarity that somebody is sneaky. And shady and does things behind your back or guess what y'all Aquarius somebody is thinking about this is thinking like this about you they've gotten some clarity that you sneaky you shady you put them in a third party you're very indecisive and this could be a water sign that's thinking this way about you okay or it could go both ways y'all could go both ways um I think you're turning your back on something. I think you're kind of knowing that something is going to be a missed opportunity here for you. I think you've gotten some clarity that something is going to be a missed opportunity for you. Or this is how your person is thinking, Aquarius, okay? So let's clarify. Let's clarify. Um, I'm feeling really... I'm feeling really hyped, you know. I'm feeling like my energy is flowing. So maybe y'all um, are. So maybe some of y'all are feeling very confident about something here, because I'm. I'm feeling. That's how I feel. I'm feeling very confident about something. 
Why is the Ace of Swords here? Why is the Ace of Swords here? Why is the Ace of Swords here? We have the Eight of Pentacles. So maybe you got some clarification or some clarity. And you're going to get the victory in a job situation. Some of y'all could be traveling. Moving. Maybe you have... Some of you guys may have put in some applications maybe somewhere else and you've gotten the clarity and you're going to get the victory in a new job or something like that with the Eight of Pentacles. Or you want to work on something with someone, or maybe a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here with the... Yeah, you're turning your back on something and you're just waiting but you're going to get clarity on something. If it's regarding a job, you're going to get the, the victory in it and you're going to get the job. But you're turning your back on something and you're waiting on your ships to come in. You've chosen something here. Why is the Three of Wands here with the Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords? Why is... Yeah. The Nine of Cups. Some of y'all want to work something out with somebody that is a wish fulfillment of yours. Someone that makes you happy. Or maybe right now you're just being selfish, you know. Turning your back on something and just being, holding holding back your emotions from somebody. Why is the seven of swords here? Why is the seven of swords here? Um... We got the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. <clears throat> Why is the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse before I say anything with the Seven of Swords? Hmm. You're being strong. You're trying to get up the, the um, courage to do something here. But you think something may not work out because... Somebody has figured out that somebody is, is a liar, a cheater. Why is the, the, the strength card? And you could be dealing with a Leo. Why is the strength card with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse? Yeah, you want to send a message to somebody that you're very passionate about. But you think, you don't think it's something that's not going to work out. I don't think you have a lot of hope in this. But you're going to take action. It looks like you are going to take action. And it's time to take action on something. You're not going to know if you don't try. Look, you're not going to you're not going to be holding back your emotions any longer. The four pinnacles in the reverse. Yeah, you're spying on somebody and they're spying on you too. Maybe you're going to go ahead and offer somebody this commitment. Why is the three of cups here? Why is the three of cups here? Why is the Three of Cups here? The Three of Cups is being clarified by the lovers. So there's a decision that somebody has to make here. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Gemini or a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. A lot of water here. A lot of water. A lot of passion. Hmm. This lover is it's, 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 it's like a, a spiritual connection that you feel towards somebody, too. And then you have the Ten of Cups. Yes, yeah, somebody makes you happy. You want this happiness with somebody that you want to reunite with. But somebody got to decide between two people here. Because we got the Two of Swords. Two of Swords. Somebody's very indecisive about making a decision. Somebody want their cake and they want to eat it too, if you ask me. That's ain't nobody asked you, Tanya. <laughs> Yeah, you're trying to decide also to make a to to apologize if you want to apologize because you do want success and victory from somebody, but you're holding back your emotions. But I just saw the, the page of four pinnacles in the reverse that you're not gonna do that any longer. You're gonna go ahead and take action. But see the king of I see the king of cups, and he usually holds holds back his emotions, but a very loyal individual. Why is the Page of Cups here with the Two of Swords? Why is the Page of Cups with the Two of Swords? Yeah, you're coming out of feeling regretful. You're coming out of that. 
So it looks like you're trying to get yourself, your, your, your emotions balanced. Well, who is this Queen of Cups? Who is this Queen of Cups? Who is the Queen of Cups? This is somebody that you want justice. You want something back. You want to balance something out with this water sign that walked away from you or you walked away from them. But you want to balance it out because there was a lot of fussing, fighting, and arguing, some competition that was going on between you. It was either you or the person that you was dealing with, Aquarius. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Why is the Eight of Wands here? Okay. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Wands. You want stability. Now you want to take a risk and offer this person something. And you're coming in quick. You're coming in quick. You are coming in quick towards somebody that you have a lot of passion for. Something here is destined. Something here is going to go in your favor, Aquarius. Why is temperance here? Universe is offering you this new beginning, too. Why is temperance here? Yeah, you want a second chance. You want to balance things out. And it looks like you're trying to balance yourself out, too. Why is temperance here? Why is temperance here? Looks like divine timing is popping off here too, Aquarius. Yeah, you're not gonna... Mm. You got the seven of wands in the reverse. And you have the sun card in the reverse. You're not happy right now. And you're, and you're putting your defenses down. Because you want to balance something out with somebody. And you want to be with this person. Because this person makes you happy. But you're not happy at this time because you're not with this person who you want to be with. And it's a it's a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. If you don't hurry up and, and do something, you feel that this, this is going to be a missed opportunity for you. You have not been looking at what universe has offered you. But now I think you, you've gotten some clarity. Look, you got temperance here again. You definitely want to speak some truth to somebody that you want to balance things out with. Um. Ooh, I'm talking too much let's get some more information here for aquarius oh lord and lord and lord and lord and look at this proposal this is a proposition this is a proposal you want to propose to somebody aquarius o m g um i guess there's a higher purpose here. I don't know why not I keep having my cards in the in the reverse. Very soon, something is on the horizon. But like I said, look, there could be some interference here. Interference. There could be some interference here, Aquarius, on your part or your other person. But something is on the horizon and it's coming in very soon. Somebody's taking action. And then you got, look what the cat dragged in. Ooh, that might be how somebody's going to be feeling about you. Because somebody has been very indecisive in this situation. Somebody didn't know what they wanted. But I think now they're, they, they got, somebody got a clue. Somebody got a clue as far as what it is that they want. Give me some more information for Aquarius, guys. Angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. What else is that Aquarius need to know? The eye is in the, it says, eye of the beholder, but it came in the reverse. Eye of the beholder. Uh, <clears throat> give me some more information. Look, delight and desire. So, yeah, you, you, you got a lot of passion here for somebody. You have a lot of passion here for somebody in the wintertime. Didn't I just tell y'all something is going to be going on in the wintertime? And I think around December, around Sagittarius time, something is going to be going down for y'all. Oh, wow. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Give me one more. One more. And then I'm going to pull Party of One. So, y'all, I think somebody is single right now. Ooh, there's that proposition. Came out again. It came out again, y'all. So, yes. There's going to be a proposal in the wintertime. In the wintertime, somebody is going to propose to you. Somebody that, that really has a lot of passion for you. They got a lot of passion for you. Or maybe this is how you're feeling about somebody. Aquarius. Give me some more information for Aquarius. Uh, 
<laughs> let's give me some more information somebody's like stop juggling me i don't know somebody been juggling somebody a cheater it popped off a cheater somebody was cheating but whoever was cheating they found out and got clarity that they're in love with you or maybe this is how you feel about somebody else give me okay y'all true love y'all true love true love true love true love we do have we do got the lovers here on the table we got the lovers here on the table give me some more information for aquarius give me some more information for aquarius i seen winter time again y'all it says don't didn't mean to hurt you and true love popped off again come on guys give me some more info give me some more info here Give me some more info for Aquarius. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, something flipped over. Okay. Don't rush me. Somebody wants somebody to be patient here. You got don't rush me at the bottom of the deck. I can't do this any longer with you. Bye. Sagittarius had the same thing. And I think this is what I named a video for Sagittarius, y'all. I can't do this any longer. Bye. This was a spiritual lesson. This is for you, Aquarius. This was a spiritual uh, spiritual lesson. Can we be friends? Can we at least be friends if we can't be lovers? I will risk it all for you. I will risk it all for you. So let's see what flipped over for Aquarius. I can't sleep without you. <laughs> Aquarius, you saying this, you feel this way about somebody, or this is how somebody feel about you. You're stressing out. You're stressing. You're not sleeping. You're not eating. Yeah. And then you have, I'm not ready for children. Maybe you guys are dealing with somebody that has children and you're not ready for that. You're not ready to, to, to take care of someone else's children maybe you're feeling like that but if you love somebody of course you have to take the whole package whoever you're dealing with you can't just deal with that one person if they have children you have to deal with the children bottom line it's a package deal it ain't no separating nothing here no you can't do that and it's not gonna be possible okay aquarius if this resonated with you please like share and subscribe thank you bye-bye